guys, it's me, Firefly Parker, and welcome to my Britmas inspired video number five. Before we begin, I just want to say that I really love Christmas, and it's one of my favorite times of the whole year. I love getting presents, I love giving presents, and I love just the whole holiday in general. I love family time. I love the food, and I just love the fact that kids are off school. In fact, I loved school when I was a kid, but I digress. <clears throat> now, today's video is all about Home Alone 1 and 2. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. Before I saw Home Alone 1 and 2, I never actually thought, well, actually, I never knew that they were Christmas movies. And... In the number the second one, I never, well actually I didn't know that it was going to be in New York because I saw the title. But besides that, I never actually knew that Home Alone 1 and 2 were actually Christmas movies until I saw them. And honestly, I love Home Alone 1 and 2. I love Kevin McAllister. Played by Macaulay Culkin. I love the fact that he does all of these crazy little traps to set for the robbers in both movies. And I also love the fact that, and I, I even love the ending, when you know that it's a twist. Yeah. Home Alone 1 and 2 always have twist endings. <sighs> Guys, there is, a sn there is a snag in Home Alone 1 and 2. That snag is, everything that Buzz does, Kevin gets blamed for. And in all honesty, I don't get that. Do any of you get that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, how come everybody accuses Kevin for something that Buzz did? Like, uh, I just, uh, I don't get that. Once again, let me know in the comment section if you do get that. And can you please, and Please, in the comment section, please explain to me how that is possible. I love the fact that it's directed by Chris Columbus. You know, the director who directed the two Harry Potter movies. Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. <clears throat> Home Alone 1 and 2 are two of my favorite Christmas Christmas movies. And it's true, they are. I just love them so much, so much. They are two great Christmas movies of all time. And they're from the same series. Although the other three Home Alone movies Three, four, five. What? I don't. What? I don't honestly think that they exist. No. Home Alone one and two are and always will be the phenomenal Home Alone Christmas movies because they have Macaulay Culkin, Devin Rattray, the late John Hurd, the really talented Catherine O'Hara. Joe Pesci, and all sorts of other actors and actresses who you swear, <clears throat> who you know they are just willing to make you love them with every possible chance you've got. I love all the misadventures that Kevin goes on. In the first one, he's always like, dun 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 I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. 
And before that, he always says, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my voice is sounding a bit tired. <coughs> anyway, he goes, I took a shower. He says, I, I took a shower washing every body part with actual soap, including all my major crevices, including in between my toes and in my belly button, which I never did before, but sort of enjoyed. I washed my hair with a dual formula shampoo, and I used clean rinse for that just for a shine. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick it up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in great shape. And he comes and he and he and he takes some um, and he takes some um, aftershave and he slaps his cheek like. I just love that part so much, and I um, mean, oh, and also when he's doing that, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. He's like the same thing, and also the boot traps with for the robbers. Oh my gosh, they were so funny! I actually laughed my tail off. <laughs> I wonder if you do too. Let me know in the comment section. And also in um, Home Alone 1, and also in Home Alone 2, when he's in, when he's in New York, he acts like he's a rich person. And, you know, with the limousine and the room service and everything. Oh yeah, the film, oh yeah, the Angels Filthy Souls movie. The one with the pizza man, like, it's like, I'll give you the, like, I can't, <laughs> I can't say all of it, but I'm sure that you know all of it, but I'll just say this. At the end, when it was like, keep the change, you filthy animal. And in the second one, he said, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> Those two Home Alone movies are two of my favorite Christmas movies. I love everything about them. I don't like it when Kevin gets blamed for Kevin for Buzz's mischief though. I don't think that's very fair. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed my video about Home Alone 1 and 2. I hope I had said all those of things that you wanted me to say. Please let me know in the comment section why Kevin always gets blamed for the things that Buzz did, like honestly. And please let me know if you think that Home Alone 1 and 2 are absolutely wonderful. And please let me know if you think that the bathroom scenes and the booby trap scenes in both home movies were exciting. And please tell me what's your favorite Home Alone 1 and 2 scenes. Of course I told you my favorite scenes so I want to know what's your favorite scenes. Let me know in the comment section down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave your post notifications on so that you'll know when I'm going to be uploading. Thank you so much for watching. I am Firefly Parker wishing you a good night. Bye!